Hello again. The Mandela Effect, which I'm sure many people will have heard, refers to collective false memories. In other words, groups of people remembering things which actually didn't happen. It's named because quite a few people have got a false memory of Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s even though he was actually released from prison in 1990 and didn't die until 2013. I want to think today about a similar thing which can be observed about Admiral Nelson, the British naval hero who died in 1805. And it concerns Nelson's eye patch. Many people are convinced that they have seen statues or portraits of Nelson showing him with an eye patch. It's particularly common in London. An awful lot of Londoners claim that the statue of Nelson on top of Nelson's column in Trafalgar Square shows the Admiral with an eye patch. It doesn't, of course. So where do these false memories of Nelson with an eye patch actually come from? In fact, Nelson never wore an eye patch, not in the whole course of his life, and he wasn't blind in one eye either. The way that this strange, I suppose we, it's very similar to an urban myth, the way that it's grown since the Second World War is absolutely fascinating. Horatio Nelson was, of course, um, a famous British sailor. He became an admiral and he fought in the Napoleonic Wars against the French. He died in 1805 at the Battle of Trafalgar, just at the point at which he had become victorious. Why is it that most people think that Nelson was blind in one eye? Why do we picture him with an eye patch? If you Google his name, if you Google Horatio Nelson, you're going to have to look at an awful lot of images before you can find anything showing him with an eye patch. And certainly all the images with, of him with an eye patch a recent ones. He wasn't shown this way at all during his uh, portrait made during his life because of course he never wore one. In July 1794 Nelson took part in action on land on the Mediterranean island of Corsica. Now, in the course of that action, a cannonball landed near him and threw a lot of uh, earth and stones up, which hit him in the face and caused some injury to his right eye. It, I mean, he temporarily lost his sight, but it soon recovered. He tried to get the Admiralty to pay him a £200 a year pension. And that was an awful lot of money in um, 1794. The Admiralty wouldn't, they were suspicious, quite rightly, because his eye was fine. You know, he soon recovered the sight in his eye. And for three years he was badgering the Admiralty to see if he could get a pension out of them, in addition to his ordinary salary, because he was claiming to be disabled. Today we would probably be describing him as, him as a benefits cheat, or at least an attempted benefits cheat. Three years later, in 1797, during a naval action at Tenerife, Nelson's uh, arm was struck by a musket ball and it caused so much damage to the bones that most of his right arm had to be amputated. Now at that point, the Admiralty decided they would pay him a disability benefit of £200 a year, but Nelson was disgusted because he thought he might get two lots of uh, benefits. In other words, £400, £200 for his eye and £200 for the arm. But the Admiralty weren't budging. They would only give him £200 a year, at which point he stopped pretending to be blind in one eye because he was sick of the whole business. And from 1797 onward, he just uh, behaved quite normally and everybody knew that his eyes were fine. Of course, by then, Nelson had told a lot of people that he was blind in one eye and rumours began circulating that his other eye was in trouble as well and soon he'd be completely blind. This was no good at all for his naval career. Um, he had great ambitions and he certainly didn't want the Admiralty to think that he couldn't see at all. 
So he started telling everybody now the true state of affairs, that there was nothing wrong with either of his eyes. How do we know this? Well, a year before he was killed at the Battle of Trafalgar, Nelson got in touch with the Times newspaper and managed to get them to run a story explaining that there was nothing wrong with his eyes. On October the 4th, 1804, the Times carried a story which went like this. We beg leave to state for the satisfaction of his Lordship's admirers who are not personally acquainted with him that Lord Nelson is not blind in either eye. It is true that for a short period he lost the sight of one eye but it has been happily restored. He also has a speck on the other eye but that he could see with both at no very distant date we are assured from the very best authority that of his Lordship's own information who has declared that he could see best with what people called his worst eye. So there it is, Nelson was not blind at all. So where does this image come from of Nelson having one eye and wearing an eye patch? After all, we've never seen a statue or a portrait of Nelson showing an eye patch or anything wrong with his eyes. From time to time during the 19th century, after Nelson's death, People did draw him with an eye patch because the idea was to emphasise his supposed disability and bravery. It looked good having a famous British sailor with one arm and an eye patch indicating he only had one eye. But I mean, this image didn't really take off. It didn't enter the public consciousness until the 1940s. And the way this happened is really quite amusing. In 1935, um, a very popular film was made called Captain Blood about a pirate. It starred Errol Flynn and Olivia de Havilland. And it was a huge success, it really was. You know, it was one of those things that made Errol Flynn so popular. A few years later, a film was going to be made about Nelson's life called That Hamilton Woman, in reference to, of course, to Lady Hamilton. The only thing is, uh, okay, but this was going to have Laurence Olivier in it, which it did, starring opposite Vivian Lee. The people making the film thought that Olivier was a little bit too starchy and British. They wanted him to be more dashing and romantic. And so they came up with the idea that, okay, the film is about ships and sailors. Why can't we make it more like pirates? Why can't we make it a bit like Captain Blood and make Laurence Olivier look like instead of a British Admiral and so they decided to give him an eye patch because even uh, this long ago 80 years ago the eye patch was a kind of shorthand symbol for pirates so they put an eye patch on Hans Olivier and it's from that time onward that we've got the idea into our heads that Nelson wore an eye patch and that he was blind in one eye Ever since then, people have persuaded themselves that they must have seen statues of Nelson or portraits of him with an eye patch. And as I say, particularly in London, a lot of people are convinced that they have seen the statue of Nelson on Nelson's column and that it actually has got an eye patch. And as I said to begin with, this is a perfect example of the Mandela effect. A large group of people believing something, having a false memory of something, that they is absolutely untrue.